Good morning. It's Thursday. It's day number 14 of Advent, and this is the week of love. Last week was the first candle was the week of, of hope. This is the week of love. Uh, I want to wrap up this little thought I've been having the last four days, talking to you about the relevance of Christmas, the reality, the reason of Christmas. Today, I want to talk to you about the result of Christmas. What is the result of Christmas? Here it is. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You say, that's it? That's it. That's the result of what happened that first Christmas. Because Jesus, again, didn't stay in the crib. He went to the cross. And when he was raised from the dead, the Bible says that two things happened. Here it is. For this reason, God raised him to the highest place above and gave him the name that is greater than any other name. And so in honor of the name of Jesus, all beings in heaven, on earth, and in the world below will fall on their knees and will openly proclaim Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus has a new name. See, two things happened when Jesus not only was born in, you know, in Bethlehem, but he went to the cross, he was raised again. Two things happened. God exalted him to the highest place in the universe. Secondly, he was given a name that is above every name. He was given a new name when he was raised from the dead. It used to be Jesus of Nazareth. Now it's Jesus is Lord. Jesus is, you know, his first name. All right, you ready? A lot of people in the Jewish uh, uh, tradition had the name Jesus, Yeshua. It means Joshua, Savior. The Lord is salvation. But now Jesus is called Lord. What does Lord mean? Lord means master, ruler, number one, sovereign, the one calling the shots in our lives. He sits in the highest place in the universe, and he is king of kings and lord of lords. That's the result of Christmas. And I want you today to lean into that. Jesus, you are lord of my life. You're lord of my health, my finances, my family. You're the lord that sits in the highest place in heaven. And I worship you and love you. Let that be your prayer today. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.